Fighter aircraft are a vital component of any air force and some fighters demonstrate their vast superiority. Since jet fighters first appeared in the form of Messerschmitt Me-262 during World War II, they have come to dominate the skies. There have been some fantastic jet fighters throughout the decades since, but some are the very best like the ones you'll be seeing in this list. Today in this video, we will chronologically list the aircraft which were the most feared by their enemies. So stay tuned guys so you won't miss out the most feared fighter aircraft by generation. Let's come first to the first generation fighters. Well, two of the most feared fighter aircraft of the first generation are the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-17 Fresco, which is a high subsonic fighter aircraft produced in the USSR from 1952 and the North American F-86 Sabre or Sabre Jet, which is a transonic jet fighter aircraft produced by North American Aviation from 1947. MiG-17s were designed to intercept straight and level flying enemy bombers, not for air-to-air -air combat or dogfighting with other fighters. The MiG-17 was equipped with two 23mm Nettleman Richter and 23 auto cannon with 80 rounds per gun and a single 37mm Nettleman and 37 auto cannon with 40 rounds. It can carry two pylons with a capacity of up to 500 kilograms, two rocket pods for S-5 rockets and two 250 bombs. It is powered with a single climb of VK-1F afterburning centrifugal flow turbojet engine which produces a maximum speed of 1,100 km per hour. The MiG-17 can fly up to a maximum range and altitude of 2,020 km and 16.6 km. The Sabre, on the other hand, is best known as the United States' first swept-wing fighter that could counter the swept-wing Soviet MiG-15 in high-speed stockfight. It was armed with six 12.7mm M3 Browning machine gun, variety of rocket launchers and 2,400kg payload on four external hardpoints. This fighter is powered with a single General Electric J47 GE27 turbojet engine, which provides a maximum speed of 1,106 km per hour and a maximum range of 2,454 km. The Sabre had a service ceiling of 15.1 km. As for the second-generation fighters, two deadliest fighter aircraft include the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21, also known as Fishbat according to NATO, which was a supersonic jet fighter and interceptor aircraft designed in the Soviet Union that entered service in 1956, and the other fighter is the Republic F-105 Thunder Chief, which was an American supersonic fighter bomber used by the United States Air Force that entered service in 1955. The MiG-21 was the first successful Soviet aircraft combining fighter and interceptor characteristics in a single aircraft. It was a lightweight fighter achieving Mach 2 with a relatively low-powered afterburning turbojet. It was armed with single internal 23mm Grasov Shupanov GSH-23L auto cannon with 200 rounds and can carry a capacity of 2,000 kg of stores with provisions to carry combinations of rockets and missiles. Besides that, it can also carry 500 kg of bombs powered with a single Tumansky R25-300 afterburning turbojet. It provides a maximum speed and range of up to 2,237 km per hour and 700 93 kilometers. The MiG-21 can fly up to a maximum altitude of 17.5 kilometers. The Thunder Chief that conducted the majority of strike bombing missions during the early years of the Vietnam War was armed with a single 20mm M61A1 Vulcan 6-barreled Gatling cannon. It can carry a capacity of up to 6,400 kg of ordnance with provisions to carry combinations of rockets, bombs and various missiles. Primary radar for the Thunder Chief was the NASAWR R14A radar. Powered with Brett and Whitney J75P19W afterburning turbojet engine, it can fly up to a maximum speed and range of 2,200 km per hour and 3,550 km. The Republic F105 Thunder Chief had a service ceiling of 14.8 km. Coming to the top two best third generation fighter aircraft. The first one is the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II, which was a tandem two-seat twin-engine all-weather long-range supersonic jet interceptor and fighter bomber originally developed for the United States Navy that entered service in 1962. 
The other one is the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25, which is a supersonic interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft designed by the Soviet Union's Mikoyan Gurevich Bureau that entered service in 1970. In air combat, the Phantom's greatest advantage was its thrust, which permitted a skilled pilot to engage and disengage from the fight at will. As a massive fighter aircraft designed to fire radar-guided missiles from beyond visual range, the F-4 Phantom II can carry more than 8,400 kilograms of weapons and nine external hardpoints, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and various bombs. The engine used is a pair of General Electric J79 GE17A afterburning turbojet engines. With this engine, it can fly at a maximum speed of 2,370 km per hour, a maximum range of 2,699 km, and a service ceiling of 18 km. As for the MiG-25 Foxbat, its appearance sparked serious concern in the West and prompted dramatic increases in performance for the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle then under development in the late 1960s. The MiG-25 is one of the few combat aircraft built primarily using stainless steel and it features a powerful radar and four air-to-air -air missiles. It is powered with a pair of Tumansky R-15B-300 afterburning turbojet engines, which provides a maximum speed of 3,000 km per hour, a maximum range of 1,860 km, and it has a service ceiling of 20 km. The two best fourth-generation fighters that we included in the list are Sukhoi Su-35 Flanker E, which is the designation for two improved derivatives of the Su-27 air defense fighter designed by Sukhoi Design Bureau that entered service in 2014. The other one is the Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet aircraft, which is a twin-engine carrier-capable, multi-role fighter aircraft developed mainly for the U.S. Navy that entered service in 2001. The Sukhoi-25 is a single-seat, twin-engine supermaneuverable aircraft armed with a single internal 30mm Grazov Shupanov GSH-31 autocannon with 150 rounds. It can carry 8,000 kilograms of ordnance with provisions to carry combinations of rockets, missiles, and various types of bombs. The main primary radar used is the Airbus E passive electronically scanned array radar. Powered with a pair of Saturn AL-41F1S afterburning turbofan engines, it provides a maximum speed of 2,400 km per hour, a maximum range of 3,600 km, and a service ceiling of 18 km. The Super Hornet is an evolutionary redesign of the McDonnell Douglas FA-18 Hornet. The Super Hornet is armed with advanced weapon systems and it has an internal 20mm M61 rotary cannon and can carry air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-surface weapons. It is equipped with APG-73 or APG-79 radar manufactured by Raytheon and is powered with a pair of General Electric F414 GE400 turbofans. It can also fly up to a maximum speed of 1,915 km per hour, a maximum range of 2,346 km, and a maximum altitude of 15 km. And now the two deadliest fifth-generation fighters are the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, which is a fifth-generation single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force that first entered service in 2005. The other one is the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which is a family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth fifth-generation multi-role combat aircraft designed for ground attack and air superiority missions that entered service in 2015. The F-22 was designed to be highly difficult to detect and track by radar. It is the stealthiest aircraft ever designed and the F-22 has four hardpoints on the wings, each rated to carry 2,270 kilograms, which can carry AIM-120A, AMRAAM, or external fuel tanks. The Raptor has three internal weapon bays and is armed with a single 20mm M61A2 Vulcan rotary cannon with 480 rounds. The main primary radar used is ANAPG-77, powered with a pair of Pratt & Whitney F-119PW100 augmented turbofans. It provides a maximum speed of 2,414 km per hour, maximum range of 3,000 km, and has a service ceiling of 20 km. The F-35 multi-role fighter can perform on air defense missions, close air support, and tactical bombing. 
It can carry up to two air-to-air -air missiles or two air-to-ground weapons in its internal weapon bay and is also compatible with AIM-120 AMRAAM, Brimstone, MBDA Meteor, and some other missiles. The F-35 is stuffed with the most advanced systems. Powered with a single Pratt & Whitney F-135 afterburning turbofan, it can fly up to a maximum speed of 1,930 km per hour, maximum range of 2,800 km, and a maximum altitude of more than 15 km. And with that, we're winding up our video for today, but before you leave, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for viewing in, we'll see you in our next video, bye-bye.